Welcome to Doug Does Stuff. I'm Doug, and now we're doing an even bigger torture test for our Anycubic Cobra S1. Why do I call it a torture test? Well, these multi board tiles, all of this that you see here, have been an absolute nightmare to print on my old Ender 3s over there. But with the Anycubic Cobra, we've been able to cut our print time from 14 hours to three hours and it's been working fingers crossed now we're going to do a stack of one two three four multi-board tiles and they're not the full size they're the half size that we need and it's going to take four of them it's only going to take six hours and eh, closer to seven so let's get this thing moving and um see how it goes all right so we've got our printer on it looks like we're ready to go. We're going to hit the remote print button over here. Remote print. Make sure we are choosing the correct PLA, which is in slot number four. None of this. And we're going to hit start print. Fingers crossed. I'm going to bring you back and check in here as we go through it in this short, but hopefully successful video. Like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. You guys are the best. All right, well, we are rocking and rolling. If you don't know, the Cobra is a very loud printer. That fan is very loud, much louder than my Ender 3, but also much faster. But yeah, we've got the first few layers down already on this custom board stack of tiles, and it's going pretty well. So, sorry about the noise, but I you know, really wanted you to hear that. All right, just a quick little update. We are you know, I wish it gave us a how long it's been, but anyway, it's we got five hours left, so I think we've been into this about an hour and a half or so. We are 25% done, which means we should be moving on to the second stack at this point of multi board. Um, we're on layer 34, but yeah, so far, so good. Keep checking in. Okay, well, we're on to the second stack, and I'm starting to see problems. We're gonna let it go a few more layers and go from there but where the um where the second tile is starting we're starting to get some warp in so that's probably not going to work um i'm just going to let it go so that <clears throat> we can get a clean break off of it so let's we'll see here we are now at layer 41 we're 30 percent in and yeah, so I don't know if that was just luck of the draw that it's, it's uh, coming up or what, but I uh, can't have that because that's just going to mess up that corner. Yeah, wish I can't even, <clears throat> anyway, all right, cool, moving on. All right, I just went ahead and I stopped the print. Um, I should be able to peel that off. So we're gonna let this thing do its thing. I wonder if I would have had enough filament. Oh geez, I gotta look at that. Anyway, here we go. Let's, uh, I gotta okay. pop that off. All right, I don't, I don't have uh, my tripod set up. Let me close this door, get rid of some of that sound. It's crazy how much that, look at that. It pops right off, which is really cool. Um, woo! Check it out. Which is really cool if you need to print a lot of multi-board, but you also need it to stick together and not warp up. Check that out. It actually looks really darn good. That would have been awesome. Here's the bottom. You know what? That new hot end on this printer, it's going good. Oh yeah, you like my shirt? Real men drive tractors. We also 3D print. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. 